guys, what is poppin'? Today I'm going to be doing a video that I hope will be very helpful for you and very useful. But this one I really hope actually helps you out. I'm going to be talking about and showing you guys how to get easy winged eyeliner like the winged eyeliner I have on. I'm just going to be showing you my tips and what I've learned about winged eyeliner because what I've learned is that in makeup, blending and winged eyeliner, those are two important kind of harder steps in like the full face makeup routine. So those two are a bit more harder. Let me know if you guys want to see like a blending video because I've also picked up tricks on that. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get easy winked eyeliner and easy steps for it and just help you guys out learning how to do winked eyeliner in a more easy way than you would think. And I really do hope that this helps. This helps me personally. It might help you, it may not, but just try it out and you never know. It could be your new favorite way to do winked eyeliner. I will be using the NYX N the NYX, the NYX Epic Ink Liquid Liner. I find that using a brush tip applicator is easier than using a felt tip or even just using liquid liner over a gel eyeliner is easier just because, I don't know, it dries out less and it's just easy, just one go. You don't have to dip your brush in like the gel and then go on top and do it again and again. Kind of just one done and go. And this is the best eyeliner in my opinion for my eyes. And it's actually a brush tip applicator. Felt tip eyeliner is also okay, but I just prefer brush tips. So without further ado, further ado, let's get into the video and see how to get some winged eyeliner. Okay, so I start off with the tip of my liner. And as you could see, the top is kind of folded over. So originally, this kind of just happened literally on its own. And I was like putting it into my, like the top and this happened and first I thought that that was bad and that was annoying and that I'd have to buy another one but it actually was a blessing in disguise because it made the tip smaller which makes it so much easier to do the wing like honestly this was like the most craziest thing ever so if you have trouble with your brush tip being a little too thick and you do this trust me it makes it so much easier to get a thinner line especially if you're into thin eyeliner today I'm going to be showing you kind of like a medium wingish type of eyeliner I don't know we'll see how it goes it always gets thicker if you can't get it right that's just how eyeliner works so what I do is I actually start off with the outer corner and I always look up kind of to the side and you kind of instead of going I don't I usually don't like my winged eyeliner to go like all the way up over here but I like it to kind of elongate my eye but give it a lift at the same time so kind of like a bit of a cat eye but I don't like to like have wings that literally go up my forehead so what I do is I kind of just follow like my eye shape up it like right over there to elongate the eye and give it that like nice sultry cat eye effect so instead of starting off at the middle or in the inner corner i always start off with the edge i just find it the easiest so what i'll do is i literally just make the line for the cat eye i'll just make out the wing and start off with that and then go in and start filling in the actual eyeliner so i'm doing that As you can see, I kind of start touching my lash line and then I work my way out. Sometimes it's good to just hold your eye like that. So it just makes it easier to get that line without moving your skin too much. Okay, so now that we have like that wing, um, it's start it's time to start bringing it in. That's kind of like my wing. I kind of like to keep it like that It's like my perfect wing as you can see it gives it like that Elongated effect but also gives it that little cat eye with a little left lift without being too much or too out there So then I just go on top of that where I was but instead of following that line I go a little above and follow it from here up till my lash line Like I said, you could hold it if it makes it easier for you. But just like that, I follow it back to my lash line. And then you kind of can perfect it, the cat eye. So you basically just go back and pull it in just like that and great we already have our wing 
Now literally all I do is I like to pull back from the wing inside. I actually find that doing this sometimes because my eyelid is... Well, eyelids are generally soft, but my eyelids kind of like, I don't know, crinkle around when I do it and the ink bleeds around. So I like to actually just take it from the edge and bring it in instead of just, you know. So basically instead of going from right to left, I like to go from left to right on top of my eye. Is my camera focusing? I cannot tell. Focus camera. Okay, <laughs> I think we're good. See, as you can see, I just brought it back up. And like again, just hold it over there. Kind of like... I'd say lift your eyeball up and kind of tilt your head upwards but look down and try to do it that way and it makes it so much more easier. And then fill in the line. Just like that. And then I actually go back. And fill that in just like that also if you do end up like having the tip dry out a bit because that i mean it's a liquid eyeliner it's gonna happen then what i do is i just put the cap back in shake it a bit take it out and usually that does the trick okay so as i was saying before also i forgot to mention that um before when you had when after we did the wing and we had to pull it back in remember not to go all the way to the tip here and then pull it back in start kind of like at the first at like the last third of the wing and start pulling it in that's what will give you that nice sharp like eyeliner as sharp as a knife effect so i just do that and now all we have to do is pull it in and the thickest that there should be eyeliner on is the wing so the wing is going to be the thickest and we're going to make the line thinner and thinner as we go into the eyeball like i said it elongates the eye and gives it the cat eye and gives you that like lifted effect but now I actually start going from the right to left as before I was going from the left to right. So now I'm going from the right to left and just filling in that line. And like I said, starting off small and getting bigger and then the biggest at the edge of the eyeliner, which is the wing. And then go thinner as we reach towards the inner. I don't go all the way to the inner corner. You can if you want to and it suits your eye shape. But for my shape, personally, I like to just stop, I'd say, right about here. Got a little pointed up there, so I'm just going to literally rub it off and fix that. And that usually helps a lot. Okay, now to get that sharp top line where it's not so, mm, I'd say, mm, zigzaggy, um, I just go back from there once again and then just go right on top. So I start from the edge of the wing, like I said, I leave one third and go to the second third of the wing and then start pulling all the way in. Like I said, tilt your head up. <laughs> Like I said, if you get a little out, just wipe it off. Normally, I don't really have this as much, but on camera, I usually mess up more. Plus, I don't have a viewfinder. I'm actually using a mirror, so it's harder for me to see. And 
and pull it out. You don't have to worry about the wing too much. I do have a hat for that later. Just to worry about the top. So what I do is I literally just take a makeup remover wipe and just wipe the wing and make it as sharp as possible. So I just pull it up like that under the wing and make it sharp. Just like that and that's how you get a perfect sharp wing. I also did go off camera and fix that a bit more. I just, I'm really like stumbly on camera so I just had to go off and fix that up a bit. But if you guys got, you know, the process and the base of it. And that is it for the liner. Alright, so I just went off camera and did the other eye. Um, as you can see, I kind of just used the same technique and stuff. I felt like there was really no reason to show you guys the other eye because I literally did the same thing. If anything, it was just easier because I did it off camera and I could actually go get close to my mirror. But um, also, that is a one big tip. If you are going to be doing eyeliner, a lifesaver is to go really close to the mirror and literally just stare at your eyeball and do it. It just makes it so much easier rather than doing it farther away which I was doing right now because like I said I don't have a viewfinder I was looking through a mirror that was kind of far and kind of behind my camera but these are the wings I feel like the hard part of eyeliner is actually like matching the two wings together is that just me but do you wish that there was just a copy and paste button to copy winged eyeliner onto the other eye because I do so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this video kind of made it easy for you to do your eyeliner and you picked up a few tips and tricks. Um, like I said, as long as you use the same technique you used here onto this eye and just match up the wings, you should be good to go and it should be perfect. And as long as you go kind of close to the mirror and really look close into your eye and have it like up close for you, it should be easier for you to do. It was not for me because like I said, I don't have a viewfinder, unfortunately, and I had to use the mirror behind my camera. That's why I messed up a bit, but usually I'm good to go using the technique that I did. And usually it'll probably be better for you and you won't have like those little spikes that I had. But if you do mess up, like I said, while it's wet, you could just wipe it and it makes it a lot easier. So I hope this was helpful for you guys and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. And yeah, that's it for today. Bye!